all, come on in. I'm gonna show you a really super easy way to find the midpoint as we're learning how to round multi-digit numbers. And this is um, still coming from standard four MBT three. So as of now, we already know that once we're rounding a number, we have to put both numbers or we have to find our number, put it on our end point, and then find one more and put it on our other point. We're going to we're going to skip that step completely because the focus of this video is strictly just to find the midpoint. So let's act like we've already found our two endpoints. 4,000 and 5,000. Okay? And we're looking for that midpoint. What we're going to do is we're going to look at these two numbers and we're going to start underlining our number all the way until we get to our first zero. Now there are exceptions to this rule and you'll see one problem where there is. But for the most part, we're going to draw that line all the way until we get to our first, our first zero. After we've drawn that line, you guys, we're going to draw another vertical number line. And those two numbers that we've underlined are four, zero, and five, zero. The number 40 and the number 50. And we're still searching for that midpoint. Now is it a lot easier, guys, to find our midpoint? What's halfway between 40 and 50? If we're still struggling, go ahead and count. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. That midpoint right here is 45. And now you guys, we've only underlined two numbers and we left out the other two. So we left out two zeros. We have to add those two zeros back to both of our endpoints and we're gonna add them back to our midpoint. Don't forget your comma. So that means, you guys, that halfway between 4,000 and 5,000 is 4,500. Let's try another one. Still looking for that midpoint. What's halfway between 9,000 and 10,000? So just as before, you guys, let's go ahead and place our numbers on our vertical number line. And we're still looking for that midpoint, halfway between 9,000 and 10,000. Just as before, you guys, we're going to draw our other vertical number line that's going to strictly be for our midpoint. And then we're going to go back to our vertical number line and we're going to start underlining all the way from our first number to our first zero. First number to our first zero. However, you guys will notice the first two numbers that we underlined for our first endpoint was 90. They create the number 90. And at the top would be 10. So in this case, you guys, this is a special case. We're going to have to underline two zeros at the top just to make sure that we have 10 more at the top endpoint, 90 and 100. Now we're able to find our midpoint. Our midpoint is about there. What's halfway between 90 and 95? Oh, I just gave you guys the answer. Well, what is it? Were you paying attention? <laughs> Great thinking, you guys. Yes, 95. And you guys will notice that our midpoint will always have a 5 in it. It will always, always have a 5 in it. Go ahead and put those zeros back in. You left out two zeros, put two zeros back even on your midpoint. And then don't forget your comma. So halfway between 9,000 and 10,000 is 9,500. Let's try one more. The halfway point between 28,000 and 29,000. What is our midpoint? We're looking for that halfway mark. Same as before, draw that vertical number line. 
underline those numbers. Remember, you're moving all the way until you get to your first zero. So my bottom end point is 280 and my top end point is 290. Still looking for that midpoint. We do not know what it is. What's halfway between 280 and 290? Absolutely, 285. And you guys, just as I said in the previous problem, every single midpoint will always be a five. It will always be a five when we are rounding using whole multi-digit numbers. And then go ahead and add back in the two zeros that you left out. Don't forget your comma. So halfway between 28,000 and 29,000 is 28,500. Happy learning.